part three says that the mod of this function f of f of x equals k has exactly two answers. So if we think about the mod graph, it's going to look exactly like this until we get to here. And then it's going to flip back over and head off to infinity. And for some k value, we are going to sometimes get two roots. We're going to get two roots up to here and including here, which we know this value is 2, and more than here. Not equal to 0, because there we've only got one root. Anything higher than 2 would only give one root from this part here. So we will get exactly two roots as long as k is less than or equal to 2 and more than 0.